What's happening YouTube? Ray Ray here and today we're going to get a good look at these. So what exactly are those cheap tobacco pops from eBay? Now, if you're watching this video, you're either A, interested in getting into pop smoking, or B, just curious as to what they are also. Now, the point of this video is to familiarize you with tobacco pops compared to the ones that come off of eBay, $7, $8, maybe even cheaper than that, and to what exactly a tobacco pop really is, what it should be made of, and how it should be made. Now, these, like I said, these are 6 7 $8, I don't remember exactly. These two I purchased to actually make a pop stand with. Uh, they're not, they're marketed as tobacco pops, as legit tobacco pops. Broken English kind of describes how you smoke them in the descriptions. Uh, this one, I'm not even real sure how I ended up that. I think I got this several years ago because I was just curious as to what it was made of exactly. I, this is when I started being curious about the 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 other pops that's on Amazon and tobacco or uh, on Amazon and eBay I'm sorry but uh yeah it's I really haven't even looked at it and I did do like a, a look at review video on this uh, a couple years ago maybe just may have been last year I don't exactly remember but the video I took it down because I noticed probably had been up for months and I noticed the audio was actually way off on it and I've changed my editing uh, routine since then uh, also different camera and stuff too but that's relevant but that's how I ended up with this to see exactly what it was and so I could make a video on it these I got for a pop stand that I'm going to make which I will still do eventually even though I'm bummed out because both of them are supposed to have been black but I can still make that work but as far as using these for legit tobacco pops that's that's what we're going to cover here uh, I have to have these in my hand to show you if you're doing your proper research. That's how you found this video and you're curious about these. Uh, but I will show you exactly what these are and I will show you other options, much better options. And uh, give you links in the description to where you can purchase better options. But first of all, let's go down to the desk. Let's look at these real good and let's see... The pros and the cons, mainly the cons about these. Let's take it on down. All right, guys, here they are. Like I said, I think these are about six, seven dollars a piece. This one I think was a, a little bit more. I don't remember, maybe about eight dollars. Uh, it listed as uh, one of the fancy, you know, etched wood, which you know you look at it and it's got this design on it. That's not etched. That's either a pressed in there or b that's actually a layer that's over top of this which I am not positive it's even wood. Uh, previous video I did, I actually did scrape some of it off right here, but I really still couldn't tell a whole lot, but we're going to dissect this a whole lot more in this video. All three of these come with some type of coating inside the bow, which, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of pipes do, some don't, but a lot of them do. But I would not recommend smoking anything out of these based on the fact that this carbon coating, which I guess that's what it is, is it has texture to it. Uh, they shouldn't have texture to it. I have no clue what that is in there. I mean, it might be some type of ash mud that they use and kind of either spray or rub in there. But yeah, it's a, uh, it's actually got a lumpy texture, and who knows what that is? I mean, these all three of these were they did come from China. This ain't a video to buy China or anything like that. But we do know they're cheap handiwork when it comes to you know imitating things, and we're going to get right off of that. Now, first of all, all three of these these stems. All of these stems are exactly the same, and I noticed I looked at some looked at some of the other listings on there before I made this video, and those stems are exactly as these. Basically, what it is is just a uh, very very cheap plastic, uh, very thin, very bendable, and it's they put these little metal rings on there, I guess, for decoration. But you look at these. I mean, th this one actually, all three of these came with this imitation stinger thing in it, which is also just a cheap uh, piece of plastic. But I don't, I couldn't get that one out. But you can see the the rings are loose. You know, you look at these uh, stems. 
they're all made in the same place. They all come from the same place. They're the same thing. And like I said, these had a stinger. I took those out because that wasn't part of my pop tobacco or pop stand plan. But we'll put those back on there. One option you can get that is much better and much cheaper, and I'll show you, is of course your cob. I cannot recommend if you're looking to see if it's something you like and don't want to spend a lot of money at first, get a cob. They're ready to go, no break in. There's much more to a pipe than just putting tobacco in it and lighting it and smoking it. Normally briar pipes, they need a break in period. They need to season them just, just like, a, like you would a cast iron skillet. But cobs are absolutely ready to go. And the thing about that, this, which I've been using for a couple years now, this is my yard pipe. This is a beater pipe. When I'm doing housework, cutting the grass, whatever, I'll pack this full and light it and stick it in my mouth and I'll go outside and do some dirty work. And it's lasted me for a couple years so far. This was also cheaper than any one of these. This is like five dollars. These started either six, seven, eight dollars, something like that. I don't remember because it's been a long while since I've had them. But you cannot beat a cob. There are several other options. If you don't want the what you would uh, refer to as maybe like a, a stereotypical uh, image that comes with a cob pipe, you can also get hardwood pipes. This is a cherry wood and it's made by a very reputable. Uh, maker Missouri Meersham they actually make hardwoods too this is like five bucks I actually think this was cheaper than this this is called a it's, a it's an Ozark hardwood and I've I've beat it too this is you know a riding I'm out on the side by side this is a camping you know it's just a dirty beater pipe and I've had it for a couple years and it's still fine uh, I don't remember the name of this one exactly or if you want to get a little bit fancy with uh, cobs they got a country gentleman and this is one of my favorite pipes. You know, this is, I sit I'll I'll around smoking this, you know, when I have company over at the house or whatever. You know, this really isn't a beater pipe, but it's, it's uh, definitely been through its paces. But when they are treated right, you can't beat a cob pipe to start out because you will get to skip that process of breaking in a pipe and learning a pipe. And, uh, you know, some things you already need to be familiar with. Now, an estate pipe, a briar pipe that's already been used, is also another really good option. And I'm going to leave a link to a guy that sells them on Etsy. He sells, actually will sell them as a starter kit that have been refurbished, that have been cleaned. The thing about getting a used estate pipe, say, off of eBay or something, it's, you still need a little bit knowledge of pipes because it does have to be cleaned properly and it does need to be sanitized. Uh, I would not recommend uh, an estate pipe as your first pipe unless it's already, you know, been cleaned, been taken care of, and been properly sanitized and stuff. And that's why I'm going to leave you a link to uh, uh, Discount Pop Depot on uh, on Etsy. His, his price is 20 bucks, basically a starter kit. He, he'll get you going. The pipes have already been refurbished, ready to go, already seasoned. i am actually uh, got quite a few on there that I'm going to pick up when, uh, when the funds allow. But let's go back up top, and we'll talk a little bit more about these. And... We might try to see what one of them is actually made of, because I am curious myself. All right, guys, first of all, a little housekeeping. I've got this packed with uh, some Edward G. Uh, compliments of my good friend, uh, Pallet and Popper. But one of these cobs, this one, hardwood pop, and a state pop from Discount Pop Depot. Uh, much much better options if you are interested into getting into pipe smoking these i mean they're cool to look at my wife actually uh she dressed up as me for halloween either last year or the year before last and she, it had to have been last year because i didn't have this year before last and uh this was part of her halloween costume and uh say a prayer with me real quick lord please don't let my wife watch this video but anyway, here's a picture. My bad. It was the red one. It was this pop that she used as uh, uh, as part of her uh, costume. And of course, that picture, I believe, uh, if it's the one that I'm thinking of, that I'm going to try to show you all, is before she had the uh, the the beard and stuff on her face too. You know, she uh, she went all out. 
She's almost as pretty as me. Almost. But these are, I don't want to say they're ebony wood because they're not heavy enough to be. They are still light, so they are some kind of just cheap, soft wood. It wouldn't surprise me if these weren't made from a pallet. I mean, it's, you know, they're not meant to be functional they're marketed as functional and yes you can smoke tobacco out of them but i'm telling you we're, we're going to torture test these too i actually have good plans uh to torture test these to see exactly how long they could last somebody and see if there's anything else that uh that might arise because i guarantee you if you put a, a bowl of uh, tobacco in this maybe uh three or four times that coating's coming off i mean that just looks like it's just paint you know, you don't paint a pipe, uh, but that's that's going to bubble up. That's going to come off. These will probably get so hot because it's a soft wood. The uh, the heat from the tobacco, from the ember and stuff, is is going to uh, permeate this wood so easily that you probably won't even be able to hold it in your hand. But this is also this this. I'm very curious about this one. I think we might go ahead and destroy this one right now to see exactly. If that is wood, and to see if uh, we can tell what kind of wood it might be, I do have a general knowledge of uh, of a lot of uh, wood. Yeah, keep yourself more jokes to yourself there. But I don't have a lot of general knowledge about wood from China, so let me get my knife out. All right, Plan B. I don't know if I can do this on camera. Y'all gonna watch me lose a finger here. Let me go pick that up. That should be enough to uh, to dig into it real good. I need to go get the vacuum cleaner and clean my desk. But yeah, you can see that is actually wood. It has splintered. So we do know that, yes, this is wood. But I cannot tell still exactly. It's honestly, guys, it's just, it's just wood. It's not a hard wood because holding that in my hand, there is no way I would have cut that that deep. Uh, with, if this was a hardwood, that is a very soft wood, uh, and definitely not made to be used as a tobacco pipe. Will this give you a general idea if you would like pipe smoking? Possibly. But once again, we're going to go back to that bowl coating. I wouldn't smoke anything out of this. I would not even try. I highly discourage it. That's why I want to make these videos to show you all what this is. But if you're going to do it, you're going to do it anyway. You won't get good flavor because I can tell by now, right now, you know what that tastes like? That tastes like plastic. That tastes like cheap plastic. Put a Lego in your mouth and uh, that's what you're going to taste when you try to smoke tobacco out of this. It will not give you a good representation of what a pop is and how tobacco should taste. Cobbs, on the other hand, will definitely do that, which I need to light mine back up. Cobbs, on the other hand, will right out of the gate, without seasoning, a good briar pipe from uh, Discount Pop Depot that's already seasoned, that's already ready to go. We'll give you a good one. Go to Walgreens, uh, CVS, any type of pharmacy, Chances are they're going to have a Dr. Graybow. Get you a good Dr. Graybow. They're in a blister pack. They got the tobacco right there too. Just don't forget you need a tamper or something to do with. A nail work, a golf tee, just fine. You can use any lighter. Uh, big lighter, pipe lighters. Just don't use a torch lighter. And you'll need some pipe cleaners. Discount Pipe Depot gives you all of that. All of it ready to go. Actually, I don't think he includes a tamper. Um, pretty. Actually, you know what? Yes, he does because he gives you some golf tees. So, yes. Can't recommend it enough. Link in the description. 
I'll link to some other sites where you can get some cobs at, whether it be uh, smoking pipes, pipes and cigars, uh, you know, even corncobpipe.com. That is Missouri Missouri Meerschaums. That that is their website. Even uh, through them, you can buy directly. You can buy a big bag of ten cob pipe seconds. You know, they're functional. They're smokable. They might have some flaws. Uh, you know, they offer those in a uh, in a big bag. But these, I've had these for uh, I've had these for years. You know, it's the only ones I need. And I look like a bumbling idiot trying to smoke a pipe on here. That won't even stay lit because I won't stop rambling. But I'm going to leave you guys with that. Drink a coffee. I'm going to leave you guys with that uh, to show you what these are. An up close look. We're going to torture test these two. I have ideas, so uh, stay tuned for that. You know, it might be a little bit before I can get to it. But I've got plans for them. Uh, just uh, subscribe. I'm doing a series right now over uh, all these different starter kits and stuff, whether it be from Amazon, from eBay, to uh, try to touch base with everybody that might be searching for that particular one to uh, hopefully help them and point them in the right direction. But unfortunately, I have to have those in my hands before I can make a video and show y'all. But guys, I hope this helps. Uh, visit one of these sites. Uh, and uh, just keep up to date with me for more videos about all of these starter pipes because I don't want to see anyone getting the wrong idea or the wrong impression of pop smoking uh, in general. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care.